From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening on Evenings LA Late, as I'm back with incredible news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why you're likely to get more months of checks from the Democrats. Then we cut to the deal. Deal done. The Force Simmons Recon will be giving you $3.5 trillion of checks across the American landscape. I'll be going over some of the checks and what they're for. Everyone's covered nearly with seniors, veterans, and also workers and more. I'll go over all the incredible details across the board. And then we cut to the vote. There's a big vote set for next week, and it's likely to anchor the vote for another thing. I have all the incredible great details and the shocker of a plan B. It's happening in tonight's recording. And then we cut to Vistimus' Raise Your Benefits Up Lifetime, and this is SSI, SSDI, VA, and more. But what happened on Wall Street? And did that impact it today as well? I have all the breaking news on this big evening's broadcast. And then we cut to the big money across the board that viewers continue to get like Nisi, $23,000, Louis, $18,000, and John, $12,000. It's a big night. It's a big evening, and there's a lot of moolah to get. Let's get to all the credible details, starting right here on Evenings Alliance. Wonderful to be back. I hope you are having a beautiful evening across the board. How's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me where the we- how the weather is and where you're tuning in from. It cooled down here in Southern California. Not enough, but expect to be cooler tomorrow. Let's keep our fingers crossed. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, so much breaking news tonight. We'll go over that with monthly stimulus checks and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we cut to the $3.5 trillion. Done. Deal. You're getting a lot of checks, 3.5 trillion of them. I'll go over some of those checks in this incredible recording with the breaking news. And then the vote, the bills, everything is happening next week. It's the final 15 of the final seven. Yeah, I'm going to call it the final 15 of the final seven because it looks like there's about seven days left and we are nearly done. But fifth stimulus is this fall and that's going to raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, and my veterans. Oh boy, yes. Finally, the big money across the board. The few it was like Nisi got $23,000 from this channel. John got ten dollars to $12,000 and Louis $18,000. So subscribe. This is Al Light, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week cha- financial news channel in America. Hit that subscribe button right now. Live in the morning and taped in the afternoons. But tonight I went live at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time with Afternoons Al Light. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Then Sirloin at 8 o'clock. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's get right to that breaking news about the monthly stimulus checks and why the issues have changed so quickly. When you look at Senate versus House, here you go. House bill, pandemic plus one year, but suddenly it looks like the full pandemic will get paid out. It was less than two weeks ago that we wondered maybe the pandemic was over. Actually, three weeks ago. Then a week ago, we, two weeks ago, we thought, well, the pandemic may be not over. Last week, we realized the pandemic's not over. And this week, we realize it's absolutely categorically not over. Pandemic plus one year, monthly stimulus checks to the House of Bills, Senate proposal, monthly July to December. Let's check the payouts. Here we go. 1,000 the first month, uh, the second month for the House after the first month of 2000. Senate amount, monthly unknown. But word on the streets, the Senate amount is this. deliciousness, (laughs) deliciousness, <laughs> $2,000 over six months, $12,000 over $1,400 over six months, $8,400. With this microcosm and the compass pointing to the point that the pandemic's not over, then that house bill would likely just pay pandemic plus one year, which would be more than 12 checks, which would be more than $13,000. And that compares to this. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate. House of Senate, tell me which one you prefer in view of the changing events. House of Senate, House of Senate. And tell me where you're tuning in from 
and how's the weather? Well, who gets that four stimulus checks? Democrats represent, you do. If you got a third stimulus check, they want to give you a fourth. Single individual, 75,000 or less, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 or less, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, or VA, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. The four stimulus check is not income, it's not taxable. The four stimulus check will be the same amount for everyone, including adult dependents. And the four stimulus check is not a waivable check. I should know better. <laughs> I fell for it. I was recording live, live streaming from the beach Sunday last week. And I was on the beach and the viewer said, hey, Ally, is that the check behind you? No joke. The viewer actually said that. I said, yeah, I think it is. Uh, he said, go wave at the check. Hey, check, how you doing? Uh, you see, good to see you at the beach. Check didn't wave back, wave back. Did not wave back. Rude check. The viewer said, it's not a rude check, Ally. It's just not a waveable check. I've seen your shows. <laughs> there you go. The four symbols check would like a land on the month of July for the month of July, those Democrats represented, and the month of August for the month of August. But in the second part of this video, we go over the exciting great news with $3.5 trillion of checks confirmed to you. Confirmed. $3.5 trillion of checks are allocated in the four stimulus recon. I'm going to go over some of those checks and why this deal is a big deal. Uh, then we turn to the fall. Then we turn to the vote. The final 15 of the final seven of this video. Absolutely breaking news and critical. In the final 15 minutes of this video, we'll go over the final seven days. Likely just seven days until we're the, to the finish line. Why? Because a major vote on a major bill is set for next week. Yes, I have all the incredible details. And also, the plan B? <laughs> we'll go over that as well. And then we cut to fifth stimulus. Here's a preview of the second half of this video. If this stimulus will pay you money, more money, if you're on benefits this fall, they can be raising up your benefits. I'll explain how much. But did the did the inflation rate impact be get impacted by the unemployment rate this week and the interest rate? I'll explain all the details. But first, let's get some money. As you go into the weekend, you're owed money, but hey, you can still get it over the weekends. And you have been killing it. If you've gotten rent from this channel, post in the live chat. If you've got utilities, post it. If you've got Snap, post it. Several weeks ago, I started reporting about the rent. I said, I can get you $5,000 for rent from this channel. Viewers are now getting upwards of $20,000 for rent, like Nisi. Wow. And then when I talked about the utilities, viewers, instead of getting $300 for utilities, are now getting $3,000 for utilities. Oh, my goodness. And then when we talk about SNAP, I had said, well, you know, five to $6,000 a SNAP. Some viewers had gotten. Viewers now, like John, what, ten dollars to $12,000, and Louie, $18,000. Oh, my goodness. What's going on? This is what I'm going to get you. So get that pen and paper ready if I can find my pen. Here we go. I'm going to get you rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities in this video. Get that pen and paper ready. While you're getting this ready, I'll explain to you what you're watching. This is what this channel does. We cash checks. We don't track checks. In April of last year, EID alone and grant checks were not going out. So there's no check to track. But I stepped in, I got viewers $25 million of them, checks to cash. In fall of 2020, second stimulus checks were not going out. They were not to track because it was not law yet. But I stepped forward and I got viewers a quarter million dollars of rent like Tyrone out of family of Ford out of Boston. Oh my goodness. And now we're doing it again, a fortune. This is third stimulus and it's absolutely a fortune. Let's go over the details. You're ready? I'm going to show you different places to reach out to. Each place has different eligibility. If one says no, reach out to the next. If one, uh, and each has their own pot of money. So here you go. You're ready? You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority. Your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. Keywords you can say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. You don't say words they don't know. Like stimulus or um, uh, muddled. <laughs> Just that word. Just the entire word muddle. They don't know it. No one should know that word. <laughs> and there you go. Congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful pot of money. And congratulations to Nisi who got $20,000 for rent. If you got a rent and ut or a utilities post in the live chat right now, the next pot of the money is Snap. Well, congratulations to John. He got ten dollars to $12,000 for this channel. Louie got $18,000 and the money is incredible. 
what is SNAP? It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to them and get this money for food. Eligibility is easier than a stimulus check. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four and out of Hawaii gets upwards of fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars a year. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raise your benefits off fifteen percent between now and December. So go get it. And congratulations to Lynn Glenn, who got it for herself, her son, and her mom, and Gail. Well, there you go. You're killing it. We are only 10 minutes of this video. Fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars for Snap. If you haven't, if you got it, post in the live chat right now. Five thousand dollars at least for rent. And we are just killing it. I got more money right now. It's the money being coming back from your states. Yes. Two viewers have got to this. One got $3,000, one got $5,000. Where is it landing? Direct deposit. What is it for? It's for the overpayment of unemployment benefits due to a computer error. <laughs> Not your computer, their computer, of course. <laughs> so how do you learn about it? Reach out to your respective state to track it and say, hey, state, can you track that check due to computer error? And can you use a computer that actually works this time? <laughs> and finally, the last refund check at issue is the one coming back from IRS. Margaret got it, Cod got, got it, Michael got it. Buck, we got an update from IRS. Up, IRS tells us that the latest round of refunds, the average of payout is $1,265. Wow, that's wonderful. Direct deposits for this wave start July 14th. And the paper checks for this wave start began July 16th. And a new wave will go out every week. Wow, from IRS. That's great news. So if you're at the beach and you do see the IRS, uh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so let's go over the big pot of money. Let's say you had paid $9,000 of total unemployment benefits, $5,000 of which was your taxes overall, but $4,000 of taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, gave back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, or otherwise in the mail. When? Uh, do a transcript search. Well, actually, this month. But if you want to know how to track it, do a transcript search. Go to irs.gov. And generally, it works 70% of the time. It'll reveal the tax return you file, the taxes you paid. It'll reveal stuff you never knew. It'll reveal stuff you just um, didn't know existed. It'll reveal stuff you don't wish you ever knew. <laughs> It'll reveal. When Mitch appeared on Star Search and he sung that song in tribute to Chuck, Was It Slave to You by Britney? <laughs> <laughs> can we top that? We can. As we go into the second part of your four stimulus package update starting right now. Deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to you under the four stimulus. Now, this is important. These are checks for you. I saw someone in the comments on a show yesterday where someone said, I don't think we're going to get any checks. <laughs> Uh, if you don't want the $3.5 trillion, you can give it to me. <laughs> There's literally $3.5 trillion of checks coming to you. So why would you not want them? It's just, there's actual zero, there's ex, some extra zeros there. Yeah, it's more than $3,000. It's $3.5 trillion. Yeah. So anyway, deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people under the Fort Simmons recon because of two things. One, they agreed upon the price, and they agreed they're passing the recon. This is incredible great news. We originally had this recon that was this behemoth that was enormous, and bigger than Nancy's hairstyle. And <laughs> initially it was so big that you, know, you couldn't see around it, sort of like, you know, uh, <laughs> when you're walking on the house floor. And suddenly they said, no, we're not going to pass it. And it looks like someone's hairstyle. So they shrunk it. And they shrunk it by taking Rosen Bridges out, putting it into the bipartisan. And it made it passable. I mean, if you called for a vote, it would pass. We have that confirmation of a conservative publication that said, my comfort confirmed my uh, reporting. The higher the price tag was on the recon originally, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmed. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending and put in the bipartisan roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. Sorry, Mitch, sorry to set you up. But he was set up, but he doesn't care. Why? Because the Republicans love the bipartisan infrastructure, roads and bridges. They love it. And that once they sh the Democrats shrunk the recon, they were able to bring some stuff a little bit back in. And that raised them to a price tag of $3.5 trillion. Deal done. They finally got that big price tag, and they're ecstatic. Before that, Representative Elon Omar said, we will get a recon that goes as far as we want. You got it, Elon. Congratulations, $3.5 trillion. Richie Torres, Democrat in New York, said, we have to have a larger recon. You got it, Richie. And then the Progressive Caucus was meeting well with the White House daily to ensure that recon went big enough. They got it, $3.5 trillion. 
Why were they doing this? To protect the pr pr protect the recon. And they were doing this for some time. Jalapal and Schatz confirmed in news that the, the White House had told them that the progressive priorities in the recon are their own priorities. Wow. Well, can we top that? We can. As now we see that the recon is passable. We see the recon has been agreed upon in both price and in principle that they're passing it. But what else do we need to know about the recon? Let me go over what the recon is, how it gets voted on, and what are the other names for the word recon? So I use two words on this channel, recon and bipartisan, but it's important for you to know the other words that are used when you tune into broadcast media because they're slightly different words. Recon is also called reconciliation. It's also called the budget bill. You recognize the price tag by $3.5 trillion. You recognize the people interviewed in the article as a Bernie Sanders. Bipartisan is $1.5 trillion. It's also called infrastructure, also called roads and bridges. Yes, a $1.5 trillion price tag, and the people quoted in that article would be like a Chris and Sinema, Ron Portman, or Mitt Romney. So there you go. What is a recon? Well, reconciliation is a bill written by Democrats for Democrats to be passed by Democrats. There's a recon procedural and there's a recon substantive, but it's the recon substantive I want to go over. Who writes at the subcommittees? In the House, under the Constitution. Each subcommittee is delegated different subject matters, and as they do different subject matters, that's their dominion. So House Ways and Means is one of those subcommittees. They're responsible for stimulus checks writing and writing about unemployment benefits. When each of the subcommittees are done, well, while they're writing, they have the interaction with the Senate subcommittee, same political party. But when they're done, they send those pages up to Chuck and Nancy. Let's say we have 10 subcommittees writing 10 pages. Then they send them up to Chuck. 10 times 10 is 100. He puts a big ass on it. Not an S for Schumer. <laughs> an S for Senate. And there is your bill. Here's what you need to know. Is that until you see that bill, you don't see the recon. Broadcast media and myself confirm that the Democrats won't be showing us the recon until it's with that S on it, until it's a bill. Why? It's sort of like a pop singer who has an album coming out. They don't want you to see all the tracks or hear all the tracks before they're released. So it's sort of an element of surprise. Great news across the board. When they're in those subcommittees, those subcommittee members, they do not have to, under the Constitution, show you what they're doing. So they have to show you what they're voting in favor or against, what they're putting in or taking out. And then ultimately, until we see that recon bill, we just don't see it. The antithesis is a naysayer who says the following incorrect comment like, I haven't heard it's in there. <laughs> the reason why you haven't heard it, because no one has seen the bill. That's why. <clears throat> Can we top that? We can, as Jalapal got us to this point by writing Schumer a letter recently saying, Chuck, call the vote. Her letter to Schumer said, Chuck, call the vote. It was signed by 12 House Democrats, part of the 100 plus, who had written the president a letter earlier before that saying, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Now that's wonderful news. Can we top that? We can. As seven members of that House Ways and Means subcommittee, the one you just mentioned, yep, that one, wrote the president a letter recently saying, we're putting monthly fourth stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus recon. Oh my goodness. They wrote your third stimulus recon check and they represent they're doing a fifth coming up next year. Wow. We got to hold them to their pro promise, Purple Power. Can we top that? We can. As the president has done it, deal. The international corporate tax rate is now finally a law. Several weeks ago, you saw the president put uh, his finger on a document when going overseas. It was about five weeks ago. It was a ceremonial signature, however. It was not a real signature. That real signature came this week. And what was that for? A confusing tongue twister. The global minimum corporate tax rate minimum. <laughs> It's exhausting to say. And why is that great news? Because it's not in the fourth stimulus. Yeah, that's why it's great news. Number one, it makes it easier to pass the fourth stimulus. It makes it easier to write the fourth stimulus recon because it's not in there, that confusing thing. It makes it easier to vote on the fourth stimulus recon because that confusing thing's not in there. It makes it easier to call the vote on the recon because that confusing thing's not in there. And it makes it easier to pass the fourth stimulus recon because that confusing thing ain't in there. <laughs> Can we top that? We can. As we go into the final 15 of the final seven of your four stimulus check update of 2021, it is potentially likely that we're in the last final seven days before this is done. It's going to get very heated. I could call it the final 15 of the final 14 still, but, oh, boy, there's a vote set for next week. Yes. And we're going to see the real provisions of what is giving you $3.5 trillion. Yes. And then we're going to see plan B. Who? <laughs> what plan B? Yeah, that's coming up later in this video. But first, also fist stimulus and also something more wonderful.
What's more wonderful than that? The volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and internet, reach out to the volunteers. They're salt of the earth. They're volunteer. They're viewers just like you. Now, if you have been posting in the live chat your money uh, that you got for rent, utilities, SNAP, great. If you haven't posted, why? Three things happen when you post the money you've gotten from this channel. Number one, it gives us a motivation to go get it ourselves. If you see 20, 30 people post in the live chat, the rent they got, then you say, wait a second, they got it, I should go get it. Number two, it inspires you to get multiple items. So like Art Sullivan, who got three items for this channel, you may have only gotten one until you see Art getting three and you realize, I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> and then finally three, it gives us an update on the numbers. When we saw Louis at $18,000 so snap, we went, oh my goodness, Louis. Uh, so there you go. Go get it. Now, if you're having problems finding it, don't worry. I got your back. Reach out to the volunteers. Open the description. In the description, you'll see an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of a house is a link to the community page. It's news.la.com forward slash community. Click that link and it'll send you over there. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll help you get that big money. And I will get you big updates about four stimulus in the final 15 of the final seven coming up right after this. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. They're at Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Evening Evening's LA Direct from Santa Monica, California, with huge breaking news on the final 15 of the final seven. As it's potentially done within seven days, the fifth stimulus, I'll be going over all the exciting details you need to know in these final last minutes. Fifth stimulus heats up this fall, fourth stimulus heats up next week, and there's a lot of breaking news still coming up. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. So much across the board, so many details. I want you part of this channel, and hit that subscribe button right now. Also, consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and the pinned comment. Let's get to the breaking news starting right now. What a night it is. And this stimulus is what was promised to you, and now it's happening. This stimulus was promised to you during the campaign trail, and that's now absolutely a big issue. That raise of your benefits, SSI and SSDI, is happening. This is what the president promised to you for, fist, for, uh, for the campaign trail. Did not happen. Now it's happening. He'll be, you'll see the raise of your benefit limits and then raise of, and then removal of your asset limits. Add an inflationary benchmark and then remove the marriage penalty and remove the income exclusion. Very exciting details across the board. What's important for you to understand is that there is a lot of money and a lot of issues for you to consider. In tonight's broadcast, we'll be going over some of those items, and we're starting to them right now. Well, here we go. How about some beach background? Do you like that? I do. Uh, in tonight's... <laughs> How about this one? I like that one. Yeah, I like that one, too. <laughs> It's a big night. Um, this stimulus starts by raising your benefits up a lifetime. And this raising your benefits was promised in the campaign trail. 
this raise of benefits is critical because it's for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, SSA. Next, they're going to remove the income cap dating back to a 1960s law that prevents you from working and staying on benefits. And they'll remove the asset cap dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't stay on benefits. Finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear the marriage penalty. Now, when considering the fifth stimulus, how does this raise your benefits up? First, they're going to raise your benefits up one big time, lifetime. And that benefits then will get a new benchmark. That benchmark is inflation that will be applied in December. That benchmark is critical because inflation is going up. Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, said that inflation rate is going up. How high? He said it's going to reach a transitory speak, peak in December. That transitory peak is incredible because once it spikes, then it settles down. And that spike is exactly when they apply your benchmarks. How high will that peak be? Well, insiders think it's about 5%. That's what I've been reporting. A temporary spike of inflation. So let's say they raise your benefits up first, and then they apply that benchmark. It would be 5% additionally, not just next year lifetime. Wow. Now that's incredible news. Well, what else is happening on fifth stimulus? There will be a fifth stimulus check as well. That fifth stimulus check the Democrats represent will happen in the incredible drafting of the fifth stimulus. It will start in September, go to a vote in about November, December, and then head out next year. Boy, what else? Well, if you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, re you have to do two things. File a tax return and also request it on the tax return. Finally, if you're on the live channel, you've noticed a lot of people getting big monies for rent, utilities, and more, and you have not gotten, you're wondering, wait a second, they're all emojis of Purple Hawks. What's going on? Consider becoming a member. The link to a member is on the top of the chat and also under the video where it says join here. By joining and becoming a member, you get access to all the incredible big money under third stimulus. Why would you not? Why would you be sitting tracking a check? Because we've never done that on this channel. In December of 2020, the second stimulus gave you a $600 check. $600 check. I said, sure, $600. I'll get you $6,000. I got viewers like Tyrone, $15,000. When third stimulus was passed and there was a $1,400 stimulus check, I said, sure, you'll get $1,400. I'll get you $14,000. Now I'm getting viewers $23,000, like Nisi. Louie, $18,000. So consider becoming a member. Daily, I deliver to you all the big money that's available for you under third stimulus. And that's why viewers who have that purple emoji are getting fortunes. By becoming a member, you're delivered daily all this big money that's available under the, the third stimulus. And there you go. And with that, we go into the final 15 of the final seven starting right now. So much big news. And let's start first with recon. Then we'll go to bipartisan, back to recon. Then to bipartisan, back to recon. One more time. <laughs> starting first with deal. Deal, done. Your four stimulus recon is done. Not for the vote of the bill, but for the deal. The Senate Democrats have confirmed they're doing it, and it's done. First, they agreed it's done for purposes of agreement that they're passing. And number two, they agreed upon the price tag. Yes, $3.5 trillion. This is huge. Tim Kaine indicates the reason, number one, why this is such great news. Because once you have the price tag, all you do is slot the items into the delegated d uh, different sections. Number two. It's huge because of the price tag. It's $3.5 trillion of checks to you. <laughs> My goodness, congratulations. Bernie Sanders went to the meeting asking for $7 trillion. He walked out ecstatic, celebrating he had $3.5 trillion. Why? He said he just got the same amount of money for the same programs just over less years. Ironically, three point five is exactly half the time of $7 trillion. Yes, let's go over then to the bipartisan the infrastructure. Well, a week ago yesterday, Mitt Romney said that the deal provisions are sensibly done for the bipartisan the for the infrastructure and that it would likely be ready for a vote this week. I said last week, mm, I don't think so. I think the week after. Broadcast media said the same thing as well. It didn't happen, obviously, the vote on the bipartisan this week, so I was right. But what happened this week? Well, two Three wonderful things. Number one, Chuck Schumer did what he called a uh, particular vote. He did a vote where he called a, he requested to call an end to discussion and negotiation on the infrastructure, on the bipartisan. Not a vote on the bill, just a vote to end discussion of it. 
And I told you it was not going to pass. Of course, it did not pass. But it was great because it put fire under everyone's feet to get it done. Remember, there's not a vote on the bill, but a vote to end discussion about bipartisan roads and bridges. The net result was also wonderful. Hours, around the, hours after that vote failed, Ron Portman, Senator, Republican, delivered a letter to Chuck Schumer of 12 Republican senators who said they're voting in favor of the recon this coming week. Excuse me, not the recon. The bipartisan, they're voting in favor of the bipartisan this coming week. We'll have the bill ready and we'll vote in favor of it. Yes, this is huge. Let's break down why this is huge. Number one, you have to call the vote on the recon before the bipartisan, but you can't call the vote on the recon if the bipartisan is not ready. Why? A series of Democrats very long ago in late June said, if you do not have the bipartisan ready, they're not voting in favor of the recon. If it sounds strange, it is strange. Basically, they say this is a two-deal process and that I'm not going to let you call the vote on the recon if the bipartisan is done like, say, in December. You got to call them ready for a vote within the short period of time of each other. So we had always talked about when is the bipartisan done? When is the bipartisan done? Not to track checks in the bipartisan because there's no checks in the bipartisan because the vote on the bipartisan is critical. It needs to be done so that we have our vote on the recon go first. And that's why the second thing that's great as well, go first. If the bipartisan is ready for a vote next week, that means the recon will go for a vote before. Because remember, the recon has to go for a vote right before the bipartisan. Wow. So that's why this is called the final 15 of the file 7, based upon their representations, not mine. Not final 15 of the file 14, because by all accounts, we could have both of them for a vote next week. That is Ron Portman's uh, statement. Now, what is my position on the situation? If there was someone that I would believe between a Ron Portman and Mitt Romney, it would be Rip Romney any day of the week. Ron Portman is that guy from 2020 in May where you were losing your home and your business and everything, and he said, get back to work, you're lazy, I'm going to cut off your unemployment benefits. So do I trust Ron Portman? I prefer to trust Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney was the guy in fall of 2020 who, when we had problems with like Pat Toomey at the very end of the CR for stimulus, stepped in and got things done. He moves very quickly. He gets things done. And when he says a date, it's generally correct. So when Mitt Romney says a vote this week, if not the week after, then I believe Mitt Romney. But Ron Portman... Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe he's correct, maybe he's not, but I rather believe Mitt Romney. So I fully have faith that Mitt Romney's belief that he's getting it done this coming week. Now, what about the Democrats going back to the recon? Well, here's what you need to know, is that there was a new article published in a conservative publication yesterday. Why am I telling you it's in a conservative publication? Because the publication usually runs anti-Biden articles, very anti-Democratic articles. This article, however, was very anti-Republican, so it's not very clear why it's so slanted. What do the articles say? I mean, you can interpret it as anti-Republican, but you can also interpret it as anti-Democratic because it's basically painting Democrats as always fearful of something. What do the articles say? That the Democrats are fearful. <laughs> That's what the article said. That the Democrats are fearful. What are the Democrats fearful of? They believe that there is a potential that Ron Portman and his representations are untrue. And that they've seen enough occasions over the last 20 years where Republicans say, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Check the clock. Is it run out yet? I'm almost done. Keep on saying a few more times. Clock's run out. Oh, sorry. We didn't get it done. That's what the Democrats are worried about, that it's been done to them before and they waited around for Republicans and ultimately the clock ran out on them. So what are Democrats doing? Well, the article says that the Democrats have a plan B. A who? <laughs> a plan B. What's the plan B, according to the article? The plan B, according to the article, is, drumroll, putting the roads and bridges back in the recon. What? <laughs> putting the who? Putting the roads and bridges back in the recon, the thing that made it not passable before, would go back in there? It's, it's only been th three weeks since we said it's not passable with the roads and bridges. Why would you put the roads and bridges back in there? They pulled a quote from Bernie Sanders. I don't believe that's what Bernie Sanders meant. Um, and, <laughs> but let's hope he, that's also what Bernie Sanders did to me. And even if Bernie Sanders did say that, yeah, it makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. 
um, both the reporting and also doing something like that. Now, here's the good news, is that there's a separate article which basically negates that article, that says that article's incorrect. And here's what the article says, and this is incredible great news. It says that Schumer was concerned, attentive to the fact that the bipartisan was not done, as we are as well. I mean, everyone's like, when is it done? Uh, and so what did Schumer do this week? It says this separate article. And in this article is from a middle of the road publication, either conservative or Republican. It says that Schumer pulled all the Senate Democrats in and said, hey, here's the situation. Bipartisan isn't done yet. They claim it's going to get done next week. What happens if it's not done next week? The article claimed that even the most problematic Senate Democrat, you know which ones I'm referring to, said, we're, we're down. We're, we're fine, Chuck, to call the vote on the recon. Just call the vote on the recon. If the, if the bipartisan is not ready, just call the vote on the recon. Wow. Now, I got to say, this article is not something that's so plastered on a, on a billboard where it's so black and white and Chuck said it, you know, with emphatic news. It's basically one of these articles where a source toward a source and uh, someone off the record or a person close to the senator said that. So it's not like Chuck came out and said, if the bipartisan doesn't go for a vote by Tuesday, this is what I'm doing. It wasn't that type of article. It was basically that Chuck really has been plotting well with the most problematic Democratic senators and getting them all on board to pass the recon in its own accord next week if the bipartisan falls off the rails. Whew, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Now, ultimately, we're always at the discretion of whether the reporting is accurate and, you know, whether those problematic senators are on board. Um, I've seen a lot of these articles that go one way and then another way in the last few months, but this one looked very, very credible. So with that, what is the takeaway? The takeaway is that we have a vote promised to us by the Republicans, uh, and they always keep their promises. Of course they do. <clears throat> that there's a vote on the bipartisan next week, roads and bridges. If that's the case, they're absolutely, positively, 100% will be a vote on the recon before that. We know that because every every Democrat that is in, in the Capitol Hill building will be calling the vote on the recon before the bipartisan. It has to go for a vote before it. There's 12 steps. It does not take 12 days. And what's important for you to understand is that in those 12 steps, there's far more, there's a lot of room to make changes to the S bill. Remember I told you that when you see that S bill, there will be the recon. That will be that recon with that S on it. But here's what you also need to know. It's that other Democrats are coming out and say, I'm going to modify stuff if I want to modify it. And trust me, I'm ready to modify it. Ooh. So this week, this, the House Democrats said, I'm not a cheap date. <laughs> they actually said that. I mean, I wasn't considering dating, and yeah, was, okay. Uh, what is this, match game? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be back in two and two. What am I, Chuck Will over here? Uh, yeah, is this, I, we weren't dating you folks, so don't think that we were dating you. But <laughs> this, the House Democrats said, I'm not a cheap date. So if I want to change things in the recon, I'll change things in the recon. This is great news for us, folks, because remember, when the bills debuted with Chuck, with an S on it, maybe there's stuff that's right, maybe there's stuff that's wrong. And that ultimately, that's not the end of the, of, the, of, of the game. That's not the end. One viewer said in one of the comments earlier this week, I can't wait to see that bill to see if I'm getting something or not. That's wrong in so many regards, that comment. Why is that wrong? Number one, you're getting $3.5 trillion of checks under the recon. So you're already getting $3.5 trillion of checks. Uh, number two, I'm waiting to see the vote to see what I get, uh, see the bill to see what I get. Um, well, the bill can get modified a gazillion times before you see what you get. It's not law yet. We have an emoji for that. How many steps? Well, you got three rounds of four, uh, four you know, three times four. Set us up, can be Senate floor, House, back to the president, and potentially, perhaps before back to the president, to the Senate voterama. I believe they still have the authority to do that as well. So there's a lot of room to make changes. And if you've been with this channel for a long time, you have seen me and us make changes through the process. I cannot tell you how many times we have been successful in getting things changed. Uh, there was this time when Steve Mnuchin's uh, stimulus check offered to Nancy Pelosi in about October went up substantially from, I think it was $800 to close to $2,000 because of our pushing. 
there was change of eligibility of the stimulus check. Then in uh, then we got um, changes for unemployment benefits from Steve Mnuchin in the negotiations because of our pushing. Of course, our biggest achievement was CR for stimulus. In fall of 2020, Nancy Pelosi's second stimulus has not was not coming. It was just not is not forming. This is the Heroes Act from May. It was not it was not coming to fruition. So I came up with the idea to put stimulus checks in the CR, and we got it in there, but not easily. We initially got it in there. Uh, we initially got the idea of stimulus checks in there, but then the Democrats turned on us and put unemployment stimulus. We pushed back, and then they put stimulus checks. But over the next few days, the checks went up in price, down in price, out in eligibility, in and eligibility. Things kept on changing. Ultimately, down at the very last minute, Senator Toomey tried to blow the whole thing up, and that's when Mitt Romney stepped in and said, calm it down, and got it done. You got to push to the finish line. And with that, I look forward to seeing you on Overnight's Crypto, coming up right after this video, and then Sir Loin at 8 o'clock. Mornings LA, tomorrow at 9 a.m., noontime, and early mornings LA at 4 a.m. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. By becoming a member, you get access to all that beautifulness and all that information about how you can get these tens of thousands of dollars. Money right now, not five days from now, not five weeks from now. And stay with Ally for more.